Um, they're global entertainers. They're WWE superstars. They're real people. And every time, every time they fight, they they take unimaginable risks. Broken bones, torn muscles, dislocations, separations, and even death. The hazards are real. Some unlucky WWE superstars get injured or die in the ring. Oh, people like Shawn Michaels, who broke his back on a casket at the Royal Rumble in 1998. Um, he, he broke his back after being thrown on the top of a, uh, on the top of a casket. He herriated um, his two discs on his back. That was the same injury that ended the career of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Wrestlers like Peril Gale died in the ring after from a stroke. Those that caused a heart attack in the ring. He broke his neck. Um, he broke his neck after botching after being after botching a couple times in the match. Right. He was fighting Rey Mysterio when he and, and Rey Mysterio hit his neck. Or another in ring death, the death of Owen Hart. He died when he was being lowered into the ring from a wire that was that was lowering him. It broke and he fell 50 feet. Then he hit his head. Okay. Um, then he hit his head and he died from internal bleeding. WWE wrestlers get injured an average of one to three times a year. A graph that was comparing the death rate of WWE superstars said that, um, said, man, a graph that was, that was comparing the death rate from of WWE superstars who died from 2010 to 2014 to the death rate of NBA, NFL, M MLB, NHL said that NBA clocked in at seven percent, MLB clocked in at at three percent, NHL um, had two percent, NFL was at six percent, and WWE was at nineteen percent, which shows that WWE's death rate is very bad. Hmm. And WWE superstars are dying fast. As a result, I think that people should be more aware of what they're doing before they step into the wrestling ring. They should also be aware of the injuries and deaths that could also happen. And lastly, try and also lastly, try not to do this at home. Bye -bye. All right, give it up. Good job. Excellent.